Hello, hello, hello. Today is Monday, November 28, 2022. Solutions to a difficult problem, 158, which I cover in great detail in my 803 lectures. The three components, L, R and C, are in series and they are driven by a power supply which changes frequency omega. First question is using Faraday's law, write down the differential equations for the current I in the circuit and for the charge Q on the capacitor. Sometimes I write down for current lowercase i with a dot, sometimes I don't do that. i is always problematic because it's so confused with 1. So here you see the differential equation in terms of i. The closed loop integral of e dot dl is minus l di dt, that is Faraday's law. So this is Ohm's law potential difference over the capacitor, com potential difference over the, over the, here is the potential difference over the resistor, and this is the potential difference over the capacitor, this is the driving voltage, the driving power is minus LDI dt. I is the QDT, and the voltage on the over the capacitor is Q divided by C. Notice that Kieshoff's voltage rule does not apply as the E field is non-conservative. There is no E field inside the wires of an ideal conductor. Thus the voltage across the cell conductor is always zero. One person had very interesting solution. He introduced a potential difference over the inductor, and he called that V of L, never realizing that V of L is zero. All right, so we already have the differential equation here in I, and now the question is the differential equation in the charge Q of the capacitor. We change this equation by L, so this L disappears, and this becomes a V0 divided by L, which you see here, and the V of C, you get also 1 over L here, and the I of R, I of R get also a 1 over L here. And then if you use the fact that I is the QDT, you will easily be able to arrive at this differential equation. And you can rewrite that if you prefer. You can rewrite that in terms of gamma, which we often do, which is R over L. And we often introduce uh, an omega zero square, which is the resonance frequency squared, which is one over the square root of LC. So you can rewrite that if you want to in this form. So you have here then the differential equation in current and I have here introduced the omega zero squared and the gamma. You use this equation here and you take the derivative of that equation. That means cosine omega t becomes omega times the sine of omega t. This becomes dq dt, which we know is i, <laughs> and this becomes d to the third q dt to the third, which is di dt squared. And here you have dq dt, which now becomes di dt times gamma. So that then is the differential equation, the current i. So we have it here in terms of the current of the charge Q, and we have it here in terms of the current I. Solve for Q, which is a function of omega, 
and I suggest you watch my eight or three lectures in which I cover this. So Q as a function of omega is Q0 times omega t minus delta, the cosine of omega t minus delta, and I cover that in my lectures. And Q0 is then V0 divided by L, divided by the square root of all this, omega 0 squared minus omega squared squared plus gamma omega squared. And this is the tangent of delta, so delta is the phase angle. So this is the solution to B. Solve I as a function of omega as a function of t and the function of omega. So I omega t, this is then the solution. And you can look up in 803 how I arrive at this solution. I introduce an I0, which is the magnitude of the current, which itself is a function of omega. And you see that here. These vertical bars means the magnitude. And the tangent of the phase angle delta is then gamma omega divided by omega zero squared minus omega squared. Again, you don't pull this out of blue sky, you have to watch by solutions in 803 to a driven LRC circuit. In what follows, the V0 of the driving potential is 3 volts. The resistor is 50 ohms, the self-inductance is 100 millihenries, and the capacitor is 0 .0 .0 0.01 microfarad, so 10 to the minus 8 farad. Question D is, the amplitude of the current I is I0, at what value for omega is I0 a maximum? And the answer is this. So you have to solve that equation and find the maximum. I show you here the plot for the current I as a function of omega. It's very interesting. You see it is very sharply peaked at this omega, extremely shortly peaked. And this then is the maximum current. And that happens when omega maximum is 3.162 times 10 to the fourth radians per second. At what frequency omega is the voltage across the capacitor a maximum? Turns out it's the same frequency. I plot here below the figure of the value of Q0 as a function of omega. The maximum voltage on the capacitor, which is the maximum value of Q divided by C, is about 870 volts, when omega is again 3.16 times 10 to the fourth radians per second. You can read here, estimate roughly the Q maximum, and you know the capacitance, 10 to the minus 8 farads, and so that gives you immediately that the voltage over the capacitor, the maximum voltage, is then 870 volts. I want you to know that for me to solve this problem took me more than half hour, and for me to write down the solutions alone took me two hours. Because I'm not very fluent in all those <laughs> Greek letters, and then the capitals, and then the lower cases, and then the, the red ones, which are the answers, and the bold ones. I cannot even guarantee you that there are no slips of the pen. I hope not but I cannot be 100% sure. 
If you find a slip of the pen, let me know. If you can't do this problem, that's almost a given. This is clearly not a high school problem. And it's not a JAE main problem. It's also not a JEE advanced problem for the reason that it's way too long. Except that people who prepare for JEE advanced should be able to solve this problem. Even though it will never appear in this form on the exam because it's way too long. It took me more than half an hour to solve this problem. It is a classic and the interesting thing is the very the narrow spikiness, how enormously spiky the resonance phenomenon is. Okay, if you can do this problem or not, irrelevant, we'll be friends. Anyhow, that is always the strongest conservation law, law of physics. I think I may publish the problem solutions today. I may also wait another day. Monday, November 28th is today. If you can't do this problem and if you have enough interest in physics, I suggest you watch my 803 lectures, LRC circuits, and learn some physics. If that's too tough for you, I don't blame you, that's alright too.